Imagine a colossal wave of energy hurtling from the sun, reaching Earth with such power that it momentarily reshapes our planet's magnetic field. This is exactly what happened during a massive solar storm in April 2023. For a brief two hours, a rare phenomenon unfolded, a magnetic highway opened between the Earth and the sun, allowing charged particles to travel in both directions. This stunning event not only caused auroras in unexpected places, but also provided scientists with a rare glimpse into how our planet interacts with the sun's powerful energy. In this video, we'll explore what makes this event so special, why it's so significant for science, and what we can learn from it about the sun's influence on Earth and beyond. The story begins with a coronal mass ejection, a massive burst of solar wind and magnetic fields rising above the sun's atmosphere and being released into space. CMEs are common solar phenomena, but what made the April 2023 CME extraordinary was the way it impacted Earth. Typically, Earth's magnetic field acts like a shield, deflecting these solar particles through a process known as the bow shock. This phenomenon is similar to the wave that forms at the front of a speeding boat as it cuts through water. However, on April 24, 2023, this shield was temporarily disrupted. The CME's force was so intense that it slowed the solar wind to sub speeds, slower than the magnetic waves that usually travel through solar plasma. This unusual condition caused the bow shock to disappear. Without this protective barrier, the Earth's magnetosphere was exposed directly to the solar wind. This rare disruption caused the Earth's magnetic field to sprout Alfven wings, magnetic structures that connected Earth's magnetosphere directly to the sun. For two hours, these wings formed a sort of highway, allowing charged particles to travel back and forth between Earth and the sun. NASA's Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, MMS, recorded these interactions in unprecedented detail, giving scientists the chance to study how Alfven wings form and evolve. What's interesting is that Alfven wings are usually associated with larger celestial bodies, such as Jupiter and its moons. The MMS data showed that, under the right conditions, Earth too could exhibit these fascinating magnetic structures. These findings could help researchers better understand the magnetic interactions between other planets and their stars, especially in systems where solar winds behave unpredictably. What truly set this event apart was the two-way flow of particles between Earth and the Sun. For about two hours, particles were not only traveling from the Sun to Earth, they were also flowing back to the Sun. This reverse particle flow is extremely rare and was made possible by the Alfven wings, which acted like magnetic bridges. Typically, the flow of energy is one way, from the Sun to Earth, but this event demonstrated that, under certain conditions, Earth can send particles back to the Sun. The effects of this were visible in the form of stunning auroras, not just in the polar regions where they usually occur, but in places much further south, such as the southern United States. The auroras were a visual representation of the immense amount of energy being exchanged between Earth and the Sun. These beautiful light displays also helped NASA detect the flow of particles back toward the Sun. This also highlighted the potential vulnerabilities of Earth's magnetic shield. As solar activity increases with the current solar cycle, such disruptions could become more common. This makes it crucial for scientists and engineers to develop better predictive models for space weather and its effects on Earth, particularly in protecting critical infrastructure like satellites and power grids from solar storms. The implications of this event extend far beyond Earth. Alfven wings are not unique to our planet. In fact, they are a common feature around gas giants like Jupiter. For instance, Jupiter's moon Ganymede is known to create Alfven wings as it orbits through Jupiter's magnetosphere. These wings help funnel particles between Ganymede and Jupiter, creating powerful auroras on the gas giant. So, Researchers can compare the Earth's temporary Alfven wings to those seen around Jupiter. These comparisons could also shed light on magnetic interactions around exoplanets, especially those that orbit close to their stars and experience intense stellar winds. This phenomenon 
also raises questions about how other celestial bodies might behave under similar conditions. For example, Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, has a weak magnetic field compared to Earth. How would a similar solar storm impact its magnetosphere? Could alphan wings form around Mercury during a particularly strong CME? Research has shown that Mercury can experience geomagnetic storms similar to those on Earth, despite its weaker magnetic field and lack of a substantial atmosphere. These storms are triggered by the interaction of the solar wind with Mercury's magnetosphere, leading to phenomena such as flux transfer events and substorm-like processes. Not only Mercury, but also studying these phenomena can provide insights into the history of magnetic fields on planets like Mars, which lost its magnetosphere long ago, making it vulnerable to solar radiation. Furthermore, the event has implications for space exploration. As humans plan missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, understanding how solar storms and magnetic interactions affect spacecraft and human activity is critical. The data gathered from this rare event could inform the design of future spacecraft that need to withstand the harsh conditions of space weather. It also emphasizes the need for continuous monitoring of solar activity, especially as we send more satellites and missions into space. In summary, the April 2023 solar storm provided scientists with an unprecedented look at how Earth's magnetosphere can temporarily connect to the sun, creating a two-way flow of particles. This event not only revealed new aspects of space weather, but also offered valuable lessons for understanding the broader universe. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more fascinating space updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Earth's magnetosphere being directly connected to the sun? And as always, keep looking up at the stars, because there's so much more to discover. See you in the next video.